Yo, yo, yo. Just want to hop on the camera real quick. Give you guys a little update on what's going on with the S3 lately. Here she is in the garage looking extremely filthy. We've been getting quite a bit of snow here and some salt. So sad to see her like this, but I'm trying to, trying to wash her as much as I can. But anyway, so what's new with the S3 from the looks? Not really anything. But as you guys see over here, we have something mounted on the window. And that is a Cobb Access. If you don't know what that is, you might ask, what is what does that usually mean? And that usually means that the car is tuned. I went with EQT and I currently am currently running a stage 193 tune. I bought the Cobb used. They got that thing for 550 included stage one stage two tunes and uh, dsg tunes but the dsg wouldn't work on my car because our serial numbers didn't match but yeah the car right now is stage one um loving it but it's not it's not enough for me so i've been doing a little bit of shopping and hopefully hopefully my trunk is gonna open from the outside and we did some shopping what the fuck? Let me see if I can do this one hand. Shit. Alright, hold on. Let me get this out and I'll resume the video. Alright, so I've been doing some shopping. And I found a local. What's going on? I don't know what I just did, but... Anyways. I found a local downpipe because you see this one is the Bull X. Um, I, I forget. I know it's called the Bull X. Not sure exactly. There's two names for that company. High Flow Cat. Got it for a steal. That pipe, the mid pipe that this clamps onto is going to need a little bit of work. That's not a problem. We'll get it done. Got this for like 150, 170 bucks. So I think that's an absolute steal. This new goes for 700. I wanted it originally. I wanted to go catless because my goal, my goal is going to be to make the most power I can out of this car. But I also at the same time want the car to sound good. And from what I've seen, the cars that have a catless, catless downpipe, I don't know what I'm going to do with the cat back yet, but with the catless downpipe and a modified exhaust, they usually sound pretty raspy. And I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. So we'll see. Right now we're going to start off with a catted downpipe. If later on it's not enough, I'll order a Trex lag 4 inch catalyst downpipe. But for now, this should be good. I got it for a steal. Like low key, this build right now, like we're building it for pretty cheap. I mean, I got the access port. I saved probably at least like seven or 800 bucks on that. Downpipe if everything fits and everything works out. I'll probably be saving another 500 bucks Just getting these secondhand parts is definitely the move, but of course I've learned I've had some bad experiences pre Previously with my TTS when I bought an army tricks exhausting and it was a good deal And I put the downpipe on and instead of like it facing straight it was <laughs> shooting up like this at like what a 45 degree angle so I had to get a whole new downpipe and honestly, what I spent on that exhaust, I could have bought a whole new Armatrix exhaust. So kind of learned my lesson on that one. So hopefully that's not the case for this one. I would love to get some zero to sixties with the stage one tune, but unfortunately, as you know, I live in Illinois and right now it's currently cold as shit and there's snow. So there's no way we can get a good zero to 60 run with the winter tires. And I don't know, what do you guys want me to do? Do you guys want me to install this downpipe as soon as possible and not get any of the stage one numbers? I never got any of the stock numbers either for zero to 60 or the quarter mile. I don't know, do we just skip the, all the stage one numbers and just try to go stage two as fast as possible and you know keep building it? Or do we take it a little bit slower, get the stage one numbers and go from there? I don't know if you guys could suggest, give me some ideas on what I should do. Because, of course, if I get some stage one numbers and stay stage one longer, I can make a little bit more content rather than just jumping straight into stage two, if you guys know what I mean. Not sure if I mentioned this before, but the main goal with this car is to be able to run tens, maybe even dabble into the nines. But tens is definitely the goal by the summer. 
So which is why I kind of want to start moving a little bit quicker and it's just it just sucks having a winter of course it's fun with all-wheel drive but when it comes to performance and and doing some of the stuff getting some numbers it absolutely sucks but yeah so far so good everything loving es3 can't wait to go stage two add a little bit more sound because right now it sounds like a vacuum cleaner with no intake no exhaust i mean it's not bad it's nice to have a quiet car but i'm young i need that sound i get some quiet cars when i'm older so yeah, that's a little update on the S3. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with the appearance wise. I don't know if I'm gonna get an RS grill and then what I'm gonna do with some of the appearance arrow stuff. Don't know yet. Hopefully in the next video, I might get some stage one numbers, zero to 60. I would love to, or it might be the downpipe install. Who knows? I guess you'll have to stay tuned and wait until the next video. And if you guys are all curious what this is, what this car is right here, it's my father's old AA. This is kind of restoring. But yo, the clutchest thing is having a heated garage. Like I'm out here with toes out, socks, no shoes, just chilling. And it's like, what, n damn near negative Fahrenheit outside. So that's clutch. Okay, enough talking. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay smooth.